to this week's book reviews. This week I'll be reviewing Best Friends. And I'll be reviewing The Iron Trial. And I'll be reviewing No More Horrible Dates. Bye! Hi, I'm Alana, and this week I'm reviewing No More Horrible Dates. No More Horrible Dates is about a girl who makes a friend who makes a pact with her best friends not to have any more horrible dates. So basically, they have to vet each guy or possible boyfriend before they can go out on a real date with them. Well, more than drinks. So, this girl has given up on dating completely after several disastrous fails. So, she, just, she agrees to start fake dating a famous rugby player named Nick. Nick is, has a very bad reputation and has been getting very bad publicity. So they want her to be able to um, help with his reputation since she is a very good girl persona. These characters begin to feel a little more romantic towards one another than just a fake relationship. You have to read on to find what, uh, find out about what happens to them. I'd give this book 4.8 out of 5 stars. Okay, I'm going to review the... I'm Avery. And I'm going to review the Iron Trials. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and, um... So, this is about a kid named Callum Hunt. And he... Most kids would do, like, anything to pass these trials, but... Callum Hunt wants to fail because his father has always told him that the iron trials are bad. And, um, yeah. Anyway, Callum fails at failing. And then mm. he goes on an adventure with, um, it's just like, yeah. The iron trials just the beginning, in short. And, <laughs> anyway, I would give this book four out of five stars. It's pretty interesting. Our my name is Lexis, and this week I'll be reviewing Best Friends. Best Friends is all about the trials of sixth grade. It's about a girl named Shannon, and her <laughs> her best friend is Jen, the leader of the popular crowd. She feels that she is a sure in, but with the ups and downs of middle school, she has trouble. She can't decide if she knows the best TV shows or the songs, and she has trouble figuring out what to talk about with her friends. Eventually, she tries to find her real friends. This book is super sweet, and it really shows how middle school can be difficult, but it can turn out alright in the end if you have good friends. I'll give this book 4.8 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching this week's reviews. Next week, I'll be reviewing How to Knit a Love Song. And I'll be reviewing The Help. And I'll be reviewing Ghost. Thanks for watching!